experts believe they have finally unraveled the mystery behind the discovery of over 20 severed feet along the shores of the Salish Sea, located between Vancouver and Seattle since 2007. The picturesque beaches of the Salish Sea, which lie between Western Canada and Washington State, are known for their natural beauty. Beachcombers often find shells, beach glass, and occasionally fragments of pottery. However, beginning in 2007, a more macabre discovery emerged, human feet. This raises the question, what is the origin of the so-called Salish Sea Feet? For an extended period, the investigation into these severed feet perplexed authorities. Amid rampant speculation online regarding serial killers and human trafficking, investigators focused on identifying the owners of the feet and determining how they ended up on the beaches. Was there a murderer involved, or was there a more mundane explanation? After meticulously examining missing person reports and analyzing underwater pig carcasses alongside regional tidal patterns, researchers believe they have arrived at a plausible explanation for the severed foot phenomenon. The Mystery of the Salish Sea Feet On August 20, 2007, a 12-year-old girl strolling along a beach on Jedediah Island in British Columbia, Canada, stumbled upon a blue and white running shoe. This shoe, a men's size 12, was not merely a piece of litter. Upon further examination, the girl found that it contained a human foot. This marked the discovery of the first of the Salish sea feet, soon followed by additional finds. Within a week, a second foot was located on nearby Gabriola Island. The police were taken aback, particularly since both feet were right feet and were encased in different shoes, indicating they did not belong to the same individual. Finding two feet in such a brief time frame is quite alarming, stated Gary Cox of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police in an interview with the Vancouver Sun. The odds of discovering one foot are a million to one, but to uncover two is extraordinary. I've heard of dancers with two left feet, but this is something else. Since that time, over 20 feet have been discovered around the Salish Sea both in British Columbia and further south in the Puget Sound area near Seattle. According to National Geographic, nearly all of the Salish Sea feet were found in tennis shoes, although some were also discovered in hiking boots. As more feet continued to wash ashore, many residents in the Salish Sea region and beyond began to ponder the same question. What was the origin of these feet? Where did all the severed human feet in the Pacific Northwest come from? The discovery of severed feet along the shores between Seattle and Vancouver sparked a multitude of theories regarding their origins. Some individuals speculated that these feet were linked to the victims of an elusive serial killer, while others proposed that they belonged to migrants who had drowned. In an effort to unravel the enigma of the Salish Sea feet, Researchers aimed to comprehend the behavior of corpses submerged in water, as well as the characteristics of the Salish Sea itself. Their investigations included experiments using pig carcasses as substitutes for human remains. According to National Geographic, bodies typically sink, particularly if the individual has drowned. Forensic scientist Gail Anderson from Simon Fraser University discovered that once a body reaches the ocean floor, it is rapidly consumed by marine organisms such as lobsters and crabs. This process results in the rapid separation of feet from the rest of the body. Furthermore, oceanography professor Parker McCready from the University of Washington determined that the Salish Sea offers ideal conditions for transporting disarticulated feet toward the shoreline. Objects that float on the ocean surface are influenced by currents, but they are also slightly moved by the wind, which can significantly aid in their arrival on shore, McCready explained to Vox. The prevailing winds in this region, around the Salish Sea, blow from west to east, 
causing floating debris in this section of the Pacific to be effectively pushed toward the coast. Additionally, researchers discovered that tennis shoes contributed to the mystery surrounding the Salish Sea feet. Modern tennis shoes are more buoyant, making it more likely for disarticulated feet encased in tennis shoes to wash ashore. The tragic solution to the Salish Sea severed feet case. According to a report by National Geographic, investigators successfully utilized DNA analysis to identify numerous feet and link them to specific individuals. The majority of these feet were associated with missing persons, many of whom had been unaccounted for over a year. Notably, one foot belonged to a fisherman who had been missing since 1987. In several instances, it was evident that the individuals had succumbed to accidents or suicides, including a case involving a woman who leaped from a bridge.